Yeah, that's funny because I was actually recording. <laughs> <laughs> so now we'll get you going. <laughs> Hello, Internet. It's David, and I'm here with a special Father's Day edition of Restoring Delight in the Word episode something another it'll be in the title i'm here with my sons ashton and parker and so you might recognize me from my not so viral ninja vacuum gun video and then you might recognize these guys from their not so viral videos called where'd the cheese go or the human placostomus video They might be wondering what a placostomus is. It's the little sucker fishes on the side of your, your fish tank. But I wanted to do a video and we got dressed up for Father's Day. And so you boys say hello to the internet. They're in there. Hello. Hello. You guys got to look at the internet or they're not going to be interested in you. You got to maintain eye contact with the internet. Maintain eye <laughs> contact with the internet. So anyway, special Father's Day edition of Restoring Delight in the Word. And so I did a video on quality Bible publishers. I'm waiting for another one to come in, and I'll probably do a review and just compare it to some different things. But it's the Schuyler personal size Quintel. But right now, <laughs> bless you. But for this video, I wanted to do a video on how premium Bibles stand the test of child ownership. And so they both have their Bibles with them here. And who wants to go first? Ashton is going to go first. And so he's got a Holman Christian Standard uh, calf skin, just like mine. You wanted to be like your daddy-o. And so when I started getting a lot of Bibles, they're like, I want a Bible. And so I was like, sure. And so, what was it? Is it in 2014? Yes. It's Early 2014, they both asked for Bibles for their birthday and not just any Bibles. And so Ashton wanted one of these. And so mine has been lightly used. There's some markings in it. And it's just a great Bible. And honestly, I'm the most surprised about this one because when I got it out of the box, it didn't, because it's so supple, it didn't feel that durable. But show us your Bible, buddy. I got it when I was 10 years old. And it's still together. The binding is still together. Focus. That's amazing. The cover and the pages are obviously showing some signs of wear as far a, a, around the edges, but the cover is still one solid piece because it's genuine leather and it's calfskin. Are, do you have any parts where the pages are falling out? He ripped one. I accidentally ripped one because he's, I accidentally spilled water. You ripped one? Man, show the internet that page. That's cool. You taped that side because you ripped it. but I spilled water on it. You bumped the microphone. Whoops. No, that's not good. I taped it. I taped it. You taped it. And so that's really just something from you using it, but that doesn't have anything to do with the binding. But can I see it? The binding is actually, it's a little bit more flexible if you can imagine that, if you've got one of these. But where I see a lot of them go bad is in the corners here where they're connected to the maps or the intro pages where they start coming away from the cover. And yours is pretty legit, man. This is a heavy duty Bible. And so I know this edition didn't make it onto my video on the quality Bible publishers, but that is a the Holman Christian Standard calfskin edition. And uh, that's pretty legit, dude. So how old were you when you got that one? 10 years old. 10 years old, how old are you now? Oh my gosh, you're so big now. You were so cute. You were like this big when you were 10. That's actually how big it was now. Three years. You've had it for over three years now, like three and a half years. And it has survived you. That's amazing. Crinkling pages is a part of being in your Bible. I'm, we're mainly focused on like the binding and what the cover's done and how the sewn binding is held up. And your ribbons are both still in there? That's pretty amazing, dude. Nice. Well, there you go. That Holman calfskin is tougher than I thought. It survived a 10-year-old for three and a half years, but you hadn't been 10 for three and a half years, right? 
And he's been 13 for a little bit now. Are we boring you? No. Okay. My eyes are watery and I'm tired. Not <sighs> tired of videos, but tired from... Being awake? Yes. Okay. So that's Ashton's Bible. That's pretty amazing. And so I'm surprised, again, still just surprised at how that's been able to hold up. Accident. But the cover... Oh, what were you going to say? accidentally scuffed it there. Oh, you accidentally scuffed it there? But the cover's still holding together like a, a nice, one nice piece of leather. Good job, Holman. Okay, so next is Parker's Bible. What did you get? You got the same one, or a different one? You got another premium Bible for your birthday. Tell us what you have. Tell the internet, Wes. <coughs> you gotta speak up. Like a man. Use your man voice. Your outside voice. Or that voice you use when your brother's picking on you and stealing your Legos. Use that voice. Out of your innermost being, rivers of living water will gush. ESV. Yeah, what kind of ESV? Cambridge. Cambridge. I'll help you out. It's a Cambridge Pit Minion. And so this is one where the binding has held together. It looks like. Show us. Show us your Bible. Come on, show the internet. What do you got? Now, what has it done to you? Oh, 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 oh. We, we want to see you. Stay over here. There you go. Oh, so it's th the cover's coming away from the binding. Is the binding falling apart at all, or is it just right there is your only issue? Yeah. That's your only one? Is it happening in the back, too? The pages are fine? That's it. And the cover still looks like it's in good shape. I know these have lifetime warranties. I don't know if the warranty is void if you give them to a nine-year-old. What, you were nine when you got this one? You got this for your ninth birthday, and they were both given by grandparents. And so these were the Bibles they wanted. So he got the Pit Minion in a brown goat skin. And overall, the text block seems to be holding together good. It's just that one spot that he showed us where it is, uh, it's coming apart. And I've got, you might have seen them in my, my other videos there, right there. Uh, uh, five of these editions in different translations and I have not had that happen to me but I don't use my Bibles like a nine-year-old and so do you remember what caused that? Using it. Using it caused it? Okay. How, how do you use it different than I use it? You gotta stay in the picture bud. We want to see your beautiful face. Um. That thing. But anyway, it's still Compared to some of the other children's Bibles that they've had, I know, I know they're expensive, and I know it's like, I don't want to give my kid a premium Bible, but it's like, if I was getting them and they wanted some, then why would I say no? And grandparents wanted to buy them. So it's still in good shape. Is this your main Bible still? So here's the ones that we've, again, given our kids. You were nine, you were 10. The Holman calf skin versus the goat skin pit minion. I'm surprised. Surprised this one has held up so amazing and I'm a little bit surprised that this is not the one that we're holding up is the one that's lasted but Holman has outlasted Cambridge in the hands of a child so far that's kind of shocking huh yeah but like a year a year is a long time 14 months is a long time folks so he is 14 months older than Parker. So you think that's what it is. You don't think it's Cambridge? We had it for the same amount of time. You've had it for the same amount of time. Actually, he's had his a little bit longer. That's true. Like two months longer. Three. It still smells so nice. Huh. Does it smell nice? Okay, smell test. Where's mine? Okay. Smelling. The lightly used. Hmm, still smells clean, smells like a church Bible. This one just smells like void and nothingness. I smell it. You, you can smell it? It's in the pages. It's in the pages? Okay, you smell mine. No, you flip the pages. Okay. It smells like... Ten-year-old library. I still got to go with the smell on the lightly used one. Which one are you thinking smells better? 
ears, but you can still okay, smell it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but you can still smell it? That's the most important part of every Bible, is being able to smell it. Okay, Parker, we've got to smell test yours. All right, so we got to do goat skin and goat skin. This is my maroon NIV pit minion. Hmm. All right, now let's switch. Don't put boogers on it. <laughs> Dad said boogers. Hmm. This one smells a little bit better than Ashton's. He doesn't use this as much as me. Oh, that's an indictment. Is this true? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. I still use it. You still use it? Okay. You know, just to honor these guys, most of you know, if you don't, I'm a pastor and a director of the House of Prayer, and that's what this channel is named after, is SA Tabernacle House of Prayer in San Antonio, Texas. And we ended up selling our home to move into an old 1940s Methodist building to start the House of Prayer in that building. And we were there for two and a half years, and we're in a new apartment uh, right now while the House of Prayer is looking for a new building. But these guys, you were... It was before you were nine and 10. You were eight and nine, and you guys were included on that decision to sell the house and start the house of prayer. And so they've been an amazing addition and such great help in the house of prayer and pursuing the Lord with us and raising up worship and prayer in our city. And he's learning guitar and he's learning keyboard. And, and so I just wanna thank you guys for doing this video with me and for helping us start the house of prayer and being a part of it. All right, thanks for watching this video, and we will see you later, everybody on the internet, YouTube. Huh? Okay, oh, we're one done. One more thing. What? My leather has been breaking in, and your leather, still since it's lightly used, it's still kind of soft. Mm -hmm. It's floppy. Oh, uh, yours, yours has more oils on it from your hands? That one's mine! No, it's not. Yes, it is! <laughs> that was mine! That was mine! Baloney! Oh. How can you not tell the difference? <laughs> no! You're trying to pull a shenanigan on me! I've no been... shenanigans! You are wrong! Do you want a nice Bible? No, I don't. Well, you, we can get another one. There's nothing wrong with having tons and tons of Bibles. As long as you give other people Bibles and stuff too. Now I gotta go find that cheese video and that ninja vacuum rake. And... All right, get these things off. Yay, yay, how do you get them off? Do you take them off? How? Get By it. getting it off, not like that. Good job, fellas, they'll really think you look sharp. <laughs> <laughs>